you know, I want everybody that works for me and, you know, including myself to, you know, thrive and, you know, be able to get the most out of the economy. Alex Bronson is a carpenter and a small business owner in Mount Clemens, and he prides himself in treating his five employees like family, including by paying them union wages. And as his company grows, he said he also wants to be able to offer them health care benefits. It's the decent thing to do. Well, I see, like, the bottom dollar for these guys and how that's going to affect them. You know, it's tough to find decent jobs out there, and I just really like want to look out for the people that work for me and, you know, the people in my community. But under Republican legislation that was introduced last year, Bronson said his ability to look out for his employees and offer them health care coverage would only be further out of reach. House Resolution 2811, otherwise known as the Save Limit Grow Act, was introduced last year and approved by the Republican-controlled U.S. House. And had it been passed into law, it would have threatened to take away Medicaid coverage and raise the cost of health care by cutting funding for community health centers, which provide health care for about 2 million Americans. If health care costs are high, I got to you know raise prices, I've become less competitive. It's hard to compete with larger businesses as it is. If I'm going to build up and get more people for my business, I can't have costs like that affecting me. Among those who voted for the legislation, five Republican representatives from Michigan, including Bronson's representative in Congress, U.S. Representative John James. I don't know why somebody would want to cut health care for Macomb County, which is you know still like a lot of manufacturing, a lot of retail work, a lot of service workers. Like that's a large part of the Macomb economy. I am absolutely worried. It's so hard to tell which way it's going to go. With Democrats in control of the Senate and President Joe Biden in the White House, that Republican bill to slash health care isn't going anywhere anytime soon. But the legislation paints an illustration of what health care would look like under GOP control, including under another Trump presidency. You know, if I had to have to pick between Biden and Trump, you know, I'm going to go Biden all the way. Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Socialist, whatever stripes you're flying, like, just get out there and vote. You know, voice your opinion, how you think, who you think the best leader is, and, you know, give our leaders that message of this is what we want to see.